add a YouTube video to your My Viewboard canvas, locate the magic box in the main toolbar, and then open the YouTube icon and do a search for your YouTube video. Let's search for the water cycle. When you search, you'll get a list of videos that are filtered based on safe search. We can scroll up and down and see if there's a video we like. And to preview the video, just click the play button to the left of the title on the image thumbnail. So this video looks good here. Let's go ahead and click on the play so we can preview it inside the magic box. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just watching the video. It's not actually part of my presentation. I'm just previewing it to make sure it's something that uh, I want to use with my students. If I like the video, I can push the back button in the top right corner to return back to the list. And then I'm going to click and drag or touch and drag that video to my canvas. Likewise, you can just double tap it to add it to your canvas. Let's close the magic box and then we can drag this video by grabbing any of the borders. We'll move it to the top right corner here. And if we want to make this video bigger or smaller, you'll see a triangle in the bottom right corner of the window. You can touch and drag that or click and drag that to resize it. If I want to make this video full screen, you'll see a square icon at the bottom right corner. Click on that and it will make the video go full screen, just so everyone in class can see it or anyone at home. When you push the play button, it will skip the ads and start playing the YouTube video. When you want to return it to its normal size, just click that square button again in the bottom right corner and it will take it back to its normal size. We can also capture anything from the video by clicking on the camera icon, which is next to the square. This is called the capture button. And you'll see here that a capture has been taken of the video and put on the background. This is really useful because now I can take a portion of this video. Um, if I click on it, I can edit it and make changes or I could save it to Google Drive. But most importantly, I can annotate over the top of it to really draw attention to maybe something for the students that they need to see.